I think it's incredible that this sexual assault residential treatment center is being established in the first place. It really is one of a kind, and it's taking an unusual approach that I actually think probably will work. When I worked in poverty law, I had clients who had been abused, and if you had offered them the opportunity to go into treatment and to go to the country and to get their health back and to get a sense of self while they recovered from the assault uh, itself, I think they would have jumped for joy. So I'm here because I think that Belleville and Quinty District are on the right track. Is there a stigma still attached to victims of sexual assault? For sure. Uh, and and it, it's a huge tragedy because having been violated once, uh, it sounds superbly, superbly unfair to have to be violated again and again by people who don't understand. But one of the things that I've learned in the course of researching tragedy and, and all the challenges that human beings, all human beings, go through at some point, I've learned that if you dig a little bit deeper underneath the reaction, you find fear. So if people are afraid to support the center because they're afraid uh, it suggests that perhaps they've been sexually assaulted, put it aside. And if people are afraid that this isn't, isn't um, you know, it's not a celebrity cause, it's not something uh, as easy to support perhaps as the bowling league, put it aside. Because when you're deciding what to do with your time and your dollars, you really need to make sure they go where it matters. And helping people who have been violated feel better, feel like themselves, regain their sense of control, there is no more precious gift. So if there is a stigma attached to it, I think it's up to all of us to get rid of it. What does it say about Belleville that they are trying so hard to establish the first residential co-ed uh, sexual assault healing treatment center in Canada? It says everything. It tells you that it's not just Belleville, it's not just a beautiful town. It's a place where people obviously have beautiful hearts. Uh, if this is successful, and I have no doubt that it will be, it, it literally leapfrogs us ahead in the treatment of, of sexual assault recovery. It's an opportunity to go into the country to be treated not just like a human being, but better than a human being. It's an opportunity for Belleville to say, we are ahead of the research, we're ahead of the game, and this is a town filled with very, very big hearts. So I'm here to support that.